stick with me. I'm getting ready to talk. January 12, 2017, 1022 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Taking a look at the last uh, 24 hours worth of earthquakes as recorded by the USGS. Um, they don't always show every earthquake. Uh, in fact, I'll switch over here to the European site. You can see several more earthquakes that just, you know, aren't showing up over here. Um, this is supposed to show us everything from a 2.5 magnitude and higher so obviously the USGS doesn't report everything that there is because this is the Europeans and this is 24 hours uh, January 12 2017 this is current up to probably about five minutes ago uh, the purple dots right here are the newest earthquakes the red dots are just over the last 24 hours just so you know what we're looking at over here. Before I get started on today's round of earthquakes and give you a little bit of update and maybe a forecast of what's next, I'm going to take us back to four days ago on January 8th. If you've seen this earthquake warning that I put out, West Pacific Mega Earthquake Warning Update January 8th, 2017. I'm going to play just one short clip of it just to go back so we can we can come back to today's earthquakes and recap and uh, look for accuracy and things like that. So, videos. That pressure is like a wall of water coming in and hitting a pole. It's going to go around and to both sides. So that pressure is going to come up to the surface. It's going to produce a 5.9 to 6.9. The pressure is also going to transfer down here into New Zealand, to the south, and to the west. And the Solomon Islands are here. Papua New Guinea is here, these are the Indonesian islands, you have the Philippines, Taiwan, and Japan. Up here you have uh, Kamchatka, Russia, the Aleutian Island chain in Alaska. Well, that pressure will, will distribute itself out across these plate boundaries, and it will even go up in here into China, and Nepal, Burma, and India. It will work its way over here into Afghanistan and Pakistan, Iran and it will wind its way up into, into Turkey and Greece and ultimately over here to Italy. So over the next... Sorry, give that a second alone. ...four days in this area right in here, we're looking for 5.9 to 6.9 earthquake to occur as a result of this right here. Additionally, that pressure, after a few days, will also go to the east. If you look, you now remember, I recorded this four days ago. That run across the plate laterally. You can see them right here. That pressure will move across these fracture zones and it'll expend itself right here. And this just happens to be Peru. So we're also going to look for similar size or larger earthquakes after a day or two, maybe three, to work itself right out over here. And so that's our earthquake warning for... January 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. We're looking for 5.9 to 6.9 in the West Pacific and similar size activity over here along the coast of South America over the next few days. I hope you will give this video a thumbs up. All right, so anyway, there you go. So that was four days ago. Uh, I recorded another one in between because we had a very large, very deep, seven point something magnitude over here uh, just a few days ago as well all that pressure is obviously coming up to the surface large deep earthquakes produce large shallow earthquakes now so if you saw that last you know couple of updates that i did seems like fiji is an origination point uh, it's just going to be an area that we're going to have to always look at because it seems that all a lot of the large deep earthquakes are style starting to originate now in these areas here and then moving up to the surface with large shallow earthquakes and moving along a fixed trajectory 
So if you if you can see the pattern here, um, you know, look at look at just a few days ago or at the earthquakes on here, and then uh, you know overlay that in your mind to what you see here over the last 24 hours. Uh, the most recent earthquake was up here in Alaska just a little while ago. I think it was this guy right here. Yeah, uh, just a little while ago, and you can see pressure transfer down into uh, the North American continent and then over into the weak point where all the fracking and oil wells are in Oklahoma and expending itself there. It'll even move here east. It'll go up into here. Um, right now I don't have time but you know you can go and check yourself. Canada has its own seismological reporting website you can look up on Google. I suggest you do your own research on this if you're interested in it. If you're not interested in it, it's my goal to make you interested in it. Um, I don't make predictions. These are forecasts based on uh, trajectory. If there's a pattern, take a look at that. Clearly a pattern. I mean, really, clearly a pattern. If there's a pattern, then you can make a forecast. If you know that uh, hurricanes have a history of starting out here and moving up into here and you can forecast for them, why the hell can the government not forecast for earthquakes. There's a clear trajectory. This couple of days ago, large deep earthquake happened here. It's happened several times. Comes up to the surface, moves along a fixed trajectory. I said it would move to the west. It moved all so far all the way to the west that it hit a brick wall right here in Madagascar with a 5.5 earthquake and only 8.7 kilometers below the earth. That's right up at the surface. I don't even know, I haven't even had time to go check to see if there's been any uh, news, you know, any footage or anything. I'll try to do that later. I hope that you guys like these videos. Um, you know, post your questions in the comment section if you want. You can find me over here on Facebook. I'm just Mark Mucci. Uh, you know, give my channel a thumbs up, excuse me, a subscription and stay updated. I'll try to make another video later today if uh, anything new happens in between. But as far as this whole area, we're still looking for Japan to get hit with a larger earthquake. We're still looking for the northwest areas up in here to get hit with a larger earthquake. I'm talking about fives and sixes and sevens, not, not just the normal fours and fives. So we had another 4.9, 529 kilometers. That makes it a large, deep earthquake. Pressure's already moving over here. Pressure's already moving down from here. So if anything significant happens over the next days, it's, it's going to be very significant. And, you know, my gut feeling is it's going to be in this area here. Um, you know, seems like the USGS isn't that interested in Italy as compared to, obviously, the Europeans. We'll see if we can uh, go back to... Their European earthquakes. Take a look at these Euro earthquakes right there. You guys should go over here to the EMSC, check it out. I mean, this stuff is really user friendly. It's like I said, I I'm not educated. I didn't do good in school, <laughs> especially science. I think I took ninth grade science three times before I graduated. They bribed me with the diploma to get me out of the school. Anyway, look at all of this. All this pressure is transferred from from over here and come up in here and you know that's a, in Greece right here that's a pretty significant earthquake a 4.6 is enough to cause damage and it's moved up in here into central Italy there's been a lot of activity over here that's very concerning don't have time to get into it right now that pressure just it moves in a fixed trajectory so there's a pattern they're predictable my forecast is large earthquakes five sixes and even possibly a seven or an eight over in this area activity in this area activity in this area we'll see it hit over here over here possibly out here towards Tennessee Kentucky with a smaller earthquake but these guys right here these large deep earthquakes are the ones you want to take a look at so if you come over to the USGS there's your magnitudes they're in the the newest to the oldest scroll down look at the depths look for anything over a 4, 4.9, 529 kilometers, anything over 300 kilometers deep. 
and you can do your own forecasting. So leave me a comment in the comment section, give this video a thumbs up, come back and check later for an update.